Hi Aquarius, how are you? If you're new, hi, welcome. My name is Michelle and today we're going with your reading this week. Before I start, I want to remind you guys that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has free will. Not everything is going to be resonating with you. Please keep in mind that the energies could be inverted. If you're a class watcher, hi, welcome. Um, and let's see what today's uh, message is for you, Aquarius, in English. As you guys saw that I posted in Spanish one too. So we're going to move forward. Let's see what the universe has for you. Hope you're doing amazing. Happy Thanksgiving for those who celebrate it. If not, happy holidays in general. So let's move this real quick. We definitely have Gemini. We have your energy. We got Taurus, Virgo. We got Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo, Aries. And Pisces. I'm very focused on Pisces, by the way. So. There's an uncertainty energy in within your energies. I wouldn't say that you don't know what to do. I just feel like some of you could feel powerless. Um, some of you are like, I just don't have the energy for it no more. I don't know what to do. Um, and it's not, again, going back to what I said, it's not like you really don't know what to do. You're a very smart person. I don't believe you don't know what, you, what to do. I believe that it's like a sense of... I just don't have the power. I feel powerless. What if it doesn't work? You know, it's like lack of resources in a way to perform, even if it's just a perspective. I feel like you have a lot of choices, but at the same time, you feel like you don't have choices or that you're focused or that you're obligated to choose one specific one because it's the only thing you can do. And this is just a perspective. I do see as well that is gossip around your name. I do feel like you could know that there's people talking badly about you. Um, it's like there's a sense of like you're reflecting of the decisions you made in life and I feel like you have a very good heart and nowadays people with good hearts often suffer the most sadly because we when we have good hearts we have a code and not everybody goes by that code so I could see your hurt I could see your lack of energies and it's not because you haven't tried it's because you have tried a lot and you're tired and you're entitled to that I feel like people don't see you and this is a, f a feeling that you feel like people don't see you and it's like you see and you try to see the good within people's heart but they don't see it but they don't see yours or they show you that different and although you have an amazing intuition often you are willing to ignore it because you want to believe there's good within people right and often you give with your heart and I wouldn't say you're expecting to receive it, but we both know that's the right thing. When you're getting something, you give back. And of course, people have betrayed you and they haven't done that. Often, leaving you short with a money, let's say you borrow money, or leaving you stranded or leaving you again on limbo into where you really don't understand why. It's like, God, the universe, I've done everything you told me to. I've done things correctly. I've loved with the heart, with my heart. I've loved. I've given. I trusted. And it feels like, what more? What more do I have to lose before I get a little bit of what I've given back? Some of you have recently, not all of you, have changed your faith or change your perspective in certain faith some of you have broken free from a marriage or relationship that it wasn't working and i wouldn't say that you did not suffer because you most likely created a life with that person maybe you have kids you have a lot of properties or something and it feels like starting over at this age or starting over you could feel lost it's like i have lost a sense of identity if you're not divorced, you could be in a relationship into where you feel not free. You feel that you have sent, lost a sense of identity. I feel like for those who are still in a relationship that feels like that. It's like you feel trapped, although you know you're free. But you want to believe because you most likely love this person or care this person, care for this person, that things are going to get better. But every single time, it shows you otherwise. And it's like, I don't know what the answer is, but you know. You just don't want to go that route yet and that's entitled to that because you should never do anything that you're not ready mentally to go for emotionally you know what i'm saying and i'm not the tarot reader that's going to push you for that we are me and the universe respect whatever you decide 
but it's nice to be felt and, and seen. The universe is telling you that most likely somebody that you haven't talked to in a minute could be an old friend or a person, any way, shape, or form, is going to contact you. Uh, somebody from the past where it's going to bring some sort of good news and hope within your energies. I see it brings a lot of inspiration, a lot of happiness. I do feel like you are hurt by the insensitivity and I will say indifference from certain people. This could be your kids, this could be family members, this could be people that you have cared for. And it's like, I feel so overlooked. I don't feel like you're the kind of person that wish bad upon people. But lately you want karma to hit certain people because you know they deserve it. And this could be why you feel overwhelmed and like grumpy and all that. Because you're like, good people suffer while bad people just have everything. And it's not like that even though it looks like that. Now, the angels are going to be giving you such good luck in the next few days. That is going to be a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. This is a confirmation that your prayers, your whatever you have done, words have been heard and they're not been overlooked. You are been and you have been neglected most likely since you were a child by your parents and then neglected with connections and family members or friends or lovers. And that's why and you could also feel neglected at work and that's why you continue to go for situations that will neglect you because regardless of what you want to say cards are saying that in your childhood you were neglected in ways okay not mean that your parents were irresponsible but there's a sense of neglect you're a child of neglect and that's why you go for people that are going to neglect you because you want to convince yourself that if you try you're worthy enough when you were worthy to begin with You don't have the support in the human world the way you deserve it. But you do have it in the spiritual world. You got a bunch of angels, a bunch of ancestors watching over you. That's why they have taken the time to come through the cards and tell you this. And maybe you're not even the kind of person that listens to tarot readings. And or even if you do, you go quick, quickly get out because people tell you the same thing. I'm the different tarot reader, obviously. <laughs> Aries energy, Leo energy, and the Ten of Swords in reverse. It's not over until you say it's over. I do see as well that if you embrace the new, let go of whatever does not serve you anymore. If you want change as a responsible adult, of course you're responsible for those changes. And you need to make them on the circumstances that are going to keep you safe and is the right way to do. For example, if you want to get a new job, you cannot just quit the job and just find a new one. No, you got to do it correctly, right? Uh, if you want to end a connection, you know how to do it, right? Correctly, safely, the right way. But it says right here that happiness is in your in your future and there's still hope. And there's going to be miracles. It's hard for you to believe in, in readings because lately you have been reading or heard in tarot readings, maybe on your For You page randomly, that you're going to be successful, that you're going to have money, that you're going to have love. And I do see that they were for you partially, but the freaking focus is that before you get all of that you need it to believe you deserve them and you need to understand what where are things not going the way they're supposed to and how things need to go for you to achieve that if that makes sense this lack of dedication because it's fear of losing of losing but you're already lost if you haven't tried, you're already saying and setting it as a failure without you really, really trying. So this is often when people say don't have high hopes. It's okay to have high hopes because it gave you motivation. Even if it didn't went the way you wanted, you tried. Never take advice from people that you will never ask. Never take opinions, as you say. Never take opinions or back criticism or criticism in general from people that you will never ask advice from. Because you knew better 
because you felt like these people have nothing valuable to to tell you so why would you take criticism from the same people and although you don't know me this is going to be the first time you watch me i know a few things i know i'm good at my job and i know that if i don't know you without seeing you without hearing you without knowing your name i know how great you are imagine people that should feel the same way by knowing you i see a lot of potential in your energies i do see a lot of neglect not only from childhood but also this affected your adulthood and i don't embrace confusion and of course i don't embrace do things now not take your time do it correctly because you are responsible the truth is in, truth the truth is in life no matter how great our future is present wise our actions bring consequences and you need to do them correctly so you don't feel like you committed a mistake if it brings you peace is the right way to go if it brings you bitterness it might not be the right time or it may not be the right decision and you will know because you know you better than anybody regardless of what you you need to heal everything that has been hurt before and you're carrying a lot of pain that doesn't even belong to you you need to make make a decision make a decision or continue other people's lack of care continue to take away your 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 happiness and a thief of joy right the journey that you are meant to be is not over because you haven't even started it and you are the queen and the empress and the emperor of your journey but you need to trust the process you need to trust the universe judgment you need to trust the past but you need to trust in your wisdom blessings cannot come if heartache is not dealt with so i do what needs to be work done so you can get to the outcome and that's why people don't like me because I'm not going to feed you delusion. Um, the point of a tarot reading is to prevent certain situations or at least give you a heads up, right? But it's beautiful to look at the outcome. But you know what is more beautiful? Being aware, being grounded of what you can expect before you get there. And that's what I do. That's what I'm great at. Because I'll concede it, but it is what it is. Uh, we got here your final message of the night. We got here total solar eclipse, the cosmic reboot. A total solar eclipse is a rare and powerful event that can bring about significant change. Use this card to harness the energy of the eclipse and release any limiting beliefs or patterns. At the bottom, we got full moon in Leo, and this says the lion's roar. Embrace your inner lion and express yourself with confidence and courage, using the full moon's illumination to showcase your talents. You know what I'm saying? The message was as it is sealed, my love. So thank you so much, Aquarius, for being here. If you lasted all the 14 minutes, how grateful I am that you're here. I want to welcome you to our family here on YouTube and everywhere else. If you don't mind to follow, like, subscribe, and comment. You can also follow me on Instagram, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Spotify. I do have a podcast in Spotify that I talk about spirit topics in English and Spanish. Completely free, obviously. Uh, I do offer personal readings. You can get extended on any sort of sign as well as you can get your personal reading with me. You can check in the description box below or if it's easier you can go to my instagram and you can find all the info there as well as all the links thank you so very much once again you have an amazing day and happy holidays